Hello, welcome to GameGasm's Christmas Countdown. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And Bren, what have we got today? Today, Jason, we've got the legendary, the awesome Castlevania. What can I say about Castlevania? This first outing on the NES was nothing short of awesome. You take on the role of Simon Belmont as he heads out to rid the land of the most feared vampire of them all, Dracula. That very name says you're in for a hard time and boy, they weren't kidding. You could probably say that Castlevania is the equivalent to today's Dark Souls. It's simplistic and brutally punishing, but you always want to push on and defeat Dracula. I've always loved it but could never do it until recently, and the feeling I had when I got the last hit on Dracula is just, well, indescribable. Laid out in a series of levels, Castlevania had you jumping and whipping your way through its devilish design, and would often have you learning enemy patterns to find the best route through. The enemy placement was insanely good, and preyed on the gamers, predicting what they would naturally do, and then put an enemy at just the right position to end your life, forcing you to adopt a different strategy. It was very clever and worked very well. Chief to Castlevania's success lay in its different approach to how Simon attacks. Rather than the player hitting the button and the whip instantly flying out, there was an added delay. It was only a small delay, but it meant that you had to more effectively time your attacks, bringing a level of strategy to this type of game that no one had seen before, thus making it instantly more challenging and engaging than most experiences available at that time. The bosses were a mix of ghouls and ghosts with the odd familiar face added in like Frankenstein's monster, and all of them know how to utterly destroy you in seconds. It can be frustrating at times, but oh, the sense of achievement is just amazing. The art of the Castlevania world is just as beautiful as its design. Using a limited colour palette, it manages to convey this gloomy horror setting in a stunning way. This, coupled with the game's incredible soundtrack, only makes the experience of constantly dying even more enjoyable, making this one of my all-time favourites on the NES. So then, Castlevania. Another interesting oldie. Yes, I mean, oh, the NES classic. I mean, Castlevania. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful creation. I mean, the other Castlevanias are good and, and that, but just they never. it's never quite as good as the original. No, I think it's the game you probably spent the most time playing this year. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. I've been having a bit of a Castlevania binge recently, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. Just... The difficulty of it as well, I mean I know a load of people found it really tough and it is a really tough game but when you get to the end and like you finally master like how to do it and you uh, you can just breeze through it and make it look so easy and everyone else is going, how are you doing this? You know, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's, like I was. Yeah, you were just watching me weren't you going, how? He's like, you wanna go? No, you're alright. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> Carry like, on. Little did he know that uh, I'd spent hours dying and cursing at the TV <laughs> screen before I got that good, but uh, yeah, what a, such an awesome horror game, and uh, yeah, I, I will play that forever in a day, I think, absolutely, loved it, loved it. If you haven't played it, I think it is available on the Wii U uh, <laughs> virtual, virtual store, console, yeah. yeah, I think it is on there, so along with the other Castlevanias as well, I think uh, they put them all on there, which is really okay. cool, so for a good price, so uh, go and check them out. And uh, yeah, that's all the time we've got for today. So uh, leave a like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to leave us a comment about uh, what, what's your favourite Castlevania game. Is it the original? Perhaps you liked another one? Let us know below. I've been Brent. I've been Jane. And we've been Gamegasm. Game Hello and welcome to Gamegasm's Christmas Countdown. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. So, Bren, what's today? <laughs> I haven't thought of a pun. <laughs> <laughs>